we're going to take this dollar bill and fold it into a pinwheel charm that you can place on a bracelet. We will use the traditional pinwheel fold as part of the fold and we'll also include a loop that will allow us to attach the bill to this ribbon so it acts as a charm. We begin by folding the one half width charm base. To do that, you first locate the middle of the bill lengthwise and you make a little tiny crease at the ends in the middle, right there and right there. Open the bill up and you use that little tiny crease to fold over one-fourth of the paper so it meets in the center. Then you do the same thing on the other side. Make sure you crease this very sharply because you will use those creases throughout the fold. Next we're going to fold down one quarter of the width from the end. And we're going to find that distance by folding down a little triangle from this edge and meeting this edge. We fold down a little triangle right on the end. And now we have a, a, a width that is one half or one quarter of the bill and a little bit of length that is about one quarter of the bill. So I'm going to do that on the other side just so that I can find that line on the other side too. So I fold down a little triangle on the end. Turn the bill over and use that location to fold over a flap. So we now have one quarter, two quarters, three quarters complete and I'm going to fold one more so I can find that last line in there. Then I want to fold these down really sharp. I open it up and I open the bill entirely. Now I have three parallel lines here that help you define one quarter of the width, half of the width, and three quarters of the width. We go to the third line down and we fold the bill to the back. And I'm going to turn the bill over to the other side. And now we need to make a little triangle right here. A little triangle right here that will meet this quarter inch line that goes all the way across the bill. And we just fold down a little quarter like that on one side. We do the same thing on the other side. We're going to unfold these, open the bill a little bit, and push that fold to the inside. Open the bill a little bit over here and push that to the inside. We can now bring over this flap towards the center, and it meets in the center line. We fold this flap over to the center. Now we have a flap right here. We're going to bring this flap over in this direction. All the way, so there's a straight line all the way across the width of the bill. Let's turn the bill over. We have a little bit sticking out here. We're going to fold this flap back in the other direction. And I open this up, turn it to the other side, and we're going to look for a little pocket right in here. Right here. Here and here. And we're going to fold this around and into the pocket using the creases we just made. Now you might want to curve the bill a little bit on the end so it's easier to get it into that pocket. So we curve it around into the pocket, working the, the the dollar bill into that pocket as best you can and as far as you can. Keep on working it down in, push it down a little bit more, 
curve it a little bit more until it fits all the way into the pocket. Make sure you get both sides of the bill into the pocket. Work it down as best you can all the way until it fits all the way down. This is our, our base that we will use to attach the ribbon. And if we take a darning needle, we can see that there is a loop that we can stick the darning needle through. Now you might get caught halfway through. If you do, just open up one side, come around to the other side and open up the other side. Make sure that you can stick that something all the way through the loop so you can see that there is the loop and that you can stick something through there. Then you, you can take your ribbon and see if you can work the ribbon all the way through. And that is how you will t attach the charm to your wrist. Now on the other side we're going to make the charm. So let's do that next. We turn the bill over to the other side. We fold this edge, excuse me, we fold this edge, the, the far edge, to meet this edge. So we're going to fold this edge down to this edge and form, form a diagonal all the light way along the line, making sure that there's a nice crisp point at the end. So take a look at that fold again. Here it is, folded down like that, all the way, you got a nice crisp point at the end, and fold that nice and crisp all the way along. Unfold it, then fold it in the opposite direction. Nice crisp point at the end. Now leave it folded here for a minute, we we'll use this edge to fold the bill right along that edge. Now we unfold the bill and we have like an X that we have folded using our two creases this way and this way. The center of this fold is right here where the X meets. We're going to take this edge and fold it down to the center of that X. We then take this edge and fold it that to the center of the X. Then we unfold it in both directions. Then we take this edge and fold it in the center of the X. Then we take all the layers of the paper over here, there are several layers over on this side, and we fold that to the center of the X, creasing down nice and sharp in all directions. Go back and crease all those folds again. Make sure they're nice and sharp folds. Turn the bill over to the back and you're going to fold this point to the center and that's going to be where the X would be in the center. You fold it right to the center and you complete that all the way around the bill always folding to the center. If it doesn't quite match up make sure your edges match up in the center. Fold all the way around the bill folding to the center. Folding all the way around the bill to the center. All points meet in the center. And then we fold it down nice and crisp when we've got that. And we're going to unfold the bill again and turn back to the other side. Now we bring up a fold from one side that we already have a crease in. And we only bring it up 90 degrees so it's facing up. We do the same thing on the other side, so it's facing up. Now we start to bring this edge in, but as we bring it in, you'll notice you, you can pinch the two ends together. As we bring that side up, do the same thing on this side. Pinch the two ends together. They should all come together nice to a nice point at each end. Then we start to work and flatten down on the existing creases and forming this shape. We're almost finished with our pinwheel now. Oop, I didn't get this in, so I want to make sure that that's in there and I have the bill looking this, like this when I'm finished. You know how this, this has got a little not really pointed? I want to make sure that that comes over all the way to the point. We get nice sharp points on our 
what will be our pinwheel. Now we are ready to make the final two folds. Now to finish off the pinwheel, you fold one of those flaps over to the other direction. Whichever one you choose, choose the one on the opposite side and do the same thing. And there we have our pinwheel. And this is our pinwheel with a loop on the back so we can connect to a bracelet. The next step is to connect to the bracelet. So I'm going to make sure that that loop is open all the way through. And like I said, if it doesn't go all the way through, you want to start on one edge, open that a little bit, reach in on the other side, open that a little bit until you're able to work your something all the way through that. Then make sure it's all the way open, all the way around. And if you can, use your tool to flatten the inside out. Take your ribbon or whatever else you want to use for your bracelet and feed it through the loop. Tie it to your wrist. And there we have our charm on the bracelet. You can add more charms as you wish and tie it off when you have it all finished.